Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at using Junkware Removal Tool. It was actually created by a guy on the Major Geek Support Forums. He goes by the nickname This Is You. And since that time, Malwarebytes has purchased it. Its big goal in life is to remove adware, junkware, or potentially unwanted programs. The bad news is there are no options. It's a run it and go, but it works really, really well. It does a real good job if you had um, Ask Toolbar, Babylon Toolbar, one of those things, Conduit, and there's some remnants left behind you can't get rid of. It works really, really good for that. So a lot of people have run this. I've noticed in some of the comments that a couple people had programs get removed that they wanted because uh, potentially unwanted programs is up to malware bytes and what they decide is potentially unwanted. But for the most part, this is designed more for text. It's a great way to do an initial or a final cleanup, not initial, a final cleanup to get rid of any traces. So keep that in mind. There's no reason to be downloading, just running it for the fun of it. Get malware bytes if you're concerned that you are infected. As you can see, it is portable. I just double clicked it to run it. And as you can also see, it wants to create a restore point. If you've watched any videos, you know I don't do restore points. So you can skip or turn your system restore on. It doesn't even do that for you. So once again, it's run it, wait for it. And when it's done, it will show you what it removed as well as generate a text file that you could give to somebody uh, if you needed it, especially to keep track of what may have been removed. And again, you may run into little problems here and there. As you can see, it's pausing a little bit on certain stuff like browsers because browser extensions can be probably one of the bigger pains uh, if you have numerous browsers it can take a little bit longer to go through there looking for shortcuts it went through all your processes um, your startup items your services uh, and it prepared the report and ta-da so as you can see obviously my system is clean otherwise you would it would tell you specifically what it found in the file system what it specifically found in the registry and what's that now again the catch is You've got this text file that says, hey, here's what we did, but there's really no reverting back. And once you even close that, it's closed, you're done, and you're out of here. So once again, it's uh, really geared for text. So I just want to make sure we're clear on that with people who are looking at this thinking, uh, I need to run this. And a lot of people send you there who don't know what they're talking about, and they'll say, oh, yeah, I think you have this or that. Go get this and run it. You need new friends. That's what I always tell people. You need somebody more knowledgeable. You always start with malware bytes and see what that does. And this is a nice little cleanup or a little final scan type of utility. But run malware bytes first. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't run it. It's probably not for you. So that was the big point of the video because there's not much here to show you. Not a lot of teeth here. Run it. Forget it. So there you go. Thanks, as always, for watching. Pretty short video this round. Hope to see you next time.